atmosphere of worship. I will ask Sister Jacqueline Freita to pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, almighty God, our everlasting Father, the great I am, the great eternal wonder. As we come into your presence this morning, Lord, to worship you, we just want to thank you for your presence that is already here with us lord we can feel your anointing and now as your word is going to be going forth lord jesus i ask you please to touch a speaker anoint her lord jesus from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet help her lord jesus to deliver with clarity help her lord jesus to deliver your word with power help her not to be fearful lord but to be reverent to your word oh god touch her lord jesus touch her tongue lord help her to speak Thus said the Lord, for your word is already anointed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and we say thanks in Jesus' name. Empty me of self, O oh Lord. Empty me of my infirmity. Burn out sin and corn. Jesus. James 3, verse 1 to 18. Praise the Lord. Here begin it. 
My brethren, together. That they may obey us and we turn about their whole body. Behold, be great and are driven of fierce winds, yet small, whosoever governeth this day. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasted. Praise God. Hallelujah. Continue. A world of iniquity. And so that he defiled it and seated the course of nature and in it is set on fire of hell. For every kind and every bird But the tongue no man, it is unruly, full of ungodly poison. Therefore, as a fountain sent forth at the same time, Water and bitter, can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either wine, so no fountain boat, salt water, and wise man, and endure it with knowledge among you, let him shoot for But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then sensible, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Eighteen and ending. Fruits of righteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we worship the Lord? So today my topic is stop that leak. Praise the name of Jesus. I just want to remind us this morning that I'm not standing before you as someone who is faultless. Praise God, I do no sin, but I'm standing before you as someone God is still working on. Hallelujah. One of the most disturbing situation about a leak is when we have one and we don't know it. Praise the Lord. You will see the water company send you a big bill and then you will investigate it. And on the other hand, if you are aware of the leak, then you will try to fix it or get it fixed by locating the main source, the main valve that control the pipe. You will bung it up, you will change out the pipe, praise God, and whatever you have to do, you will do it so it don't cost you anything. Praise the name of Jesus. And so is it when we have a problem with our tongue. Speech is one of the most difficult aspects of life to control, praise God. In James 3 verse 2, he says, For in many things we offend all, if any man offend not in words, the same is a perfect man and able to bridle the old body. Praise the name of Jesus. We are aware that the Bible gives guidelines about speech, praise God, and specifically how we should speak about each other. In Titus 3 verse 2, it tells us that to speak no evil of any man 
to be no brawlers, praise God, but gentle speaking. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Showing all meekness to mankind. Hallelujah. So it is our words matters. They can build us up or they can tear us down. Hallelujah. So today we are specifically Kali going to talk about the problem that is so prevalent in the world today and in the body of Christ, in our family, all over, and that is a problem of gossiping and biting and tail bearing. We ask, what is gossip? Gossip is a rumor, praise God, or an idle talk, or malicious talk, or sensual, immature nature, praise God. But biting is believed to be the same as gossiping. And so but biting can't mean anything good. Praise the name of Jesus. Tail bearing is more mentioned in scripture. And so praise God. And that is spreading confidential or spiritual spiteful story about someone who is not present. Both of them is similar because it involving information that you shouldn't have. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. There's another one called slander, which is assassination of character. But praise God, I will leave that one for later. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Leviticus 19 and verse 16 state, Thou shalt not go about as a tail bearer among thy people, nor should thou shalt not take a stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Lord does not want us to go up and down. Hallelujah. As a tear bearer. Praise God. Also in 1 Peter 4 and verse 15, it says, Let no one suffer as an evildoer, or a murderer, or as a thief. Praise God. Or a busybody in other people of fear. The entire chapter of 1 Peter 4 was talking about suffering. Hallelujah. Like Christ, suffer. Not that any of these mentioned. Hallelujah. In Psalms 15 and verse 3, verse 3, the question was asked, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thine holy hill? Notice one of the requirements was in verse 3, he that have a clean heart and bite it not. Praise God. People love to talk about other people. Praise God. We love to talk about people. Praise God. Praise God. Some people delighting in digging up dirt about other people. Praise God. Hallelujah. And if we are honest today with ourselves, most of us can truly say we are guilty. So we find sometime in our life, we find ourselves in that situation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many can honestly say we have never said something or about someone and then re later realize that we should not have in praise god well praise god i have praise god and that's when the holy ghost will prick you hallelujah and if you are led by the holy spirit you should feel bad Amen. praise the lord Amen. many look at these we may look at these things as not seen praise god we look at the adultery we look at the fornication, the murder, and so on. But these little things can destroy the whole family. It can break up marriages. Praise God. It destroys the whole church. Praise God. It separate friends. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in James 3 and verse 6, The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. Praise God. So is it the tongue among our members that it defileth the whole body and set it on fire, the course of nature. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Gossiping is like a secret craving. Praise God. Some cannot help themselves when there is something to be said about someone. For some person is like a hobby. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Some people set a time at certain times of the day, praise God, to call you with the latest news they heard, praise God. Child of God, this, this should not be among us, hallelujah. We should use those words to encourage, hallelujah, someone to the Lord. In 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 13, he says, And with all they learn to be idle, wandering from house to house, and not only idle, but talies. Praise God. And also busy bodies. Praise the Lord. Speaking things which they not are to. Praise God. 
These are not my words, praise God. These are the words of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. When we are stung by gossip, praise God, you will know the pain that you have been inflicted upon you. Only then you can truly testify, praise God, of that. Praise, uh, praise the Lord. Maybe we lost a friend because of it. Praise the name of Jesus. Rumors sink deep in a person's heart. It may be true, but we don't have to share it. Hallelujah. Can the church say amen? Hallelujah. Can we shout and shout and praise the Lord this morning? There is a saying that not everything that is said is true, but everything that is said, it must be true. Praise the name of Jesus. In Proverbs 18, 21, it says, we are all familiar with that, voice, with that verse. It says, life and death is in the... Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The true mark of a Christian maturity is how we use our tongue. Hallelujah. The words give us direction in life. It gives instruction and it can display our character. Praise the name of Jesus. With our tongue, we speak blessing. Praise God. And with our tongue, we speak cursing. Hallelujah. One minute we are praising God. Hallelujah. And the next minute we are tearing down each other. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our, our words come from our heart. Hallelujah. And so oh, the only way to tame the tongue is to get a new heart. We can transform by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, for example, sister so-and-so, our brother so-and-so come to us with something about someone we know as a good person. Praise the name of Jesus. And it causes us to think negative, malicious, spiteful words about that person. Praise God. Hallelujah. And that is going to cause us to think about, think about the person in that way. Praise God. In Proverbs 16, 28 says, A forward man sweats strive, and a whisperer separates three friends. Tail bearing separate best friends, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gossiping hurt even the listener, praise God. Because somebody will be talking, somebody have to be listening. Hallelujah. In Proverbs 17 and verse 4, it says, A wicked man do it, do it, give it heed to false lips, and a liar give it ears to a naughty tongue. Gossip or they speak as well because it will damage their reputation. You may say, how do I stop? Praise God. We have to repent. We have to ask God to take away the desire to do it. Even if it is our closest friends, praise God, our closest family member, we need to stop it, praise God, because it will destroy you. Hallelujah. And it will disconnect you, praise the name of Jesus from the Lord. This is how we're going to stop the leaking tongue this morning. We are going to guard our ears, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to level our ears this morning. We're going to level the tongue this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is not easy, no bridging, because honestly, we want to hear. Hallelujah. We really, really want to hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And sometimes when you hear things, praise God, it will turn around and hurt your feelings. Praise the name of Jesus. So you better you not hear nothing this morning. Hallelujah. When the person comes to tell you things, just ask the person, why are you telling me this? And then that person, it causes that person to think. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 15 and verse 17 says, my brother, if thy brother offend you, hallelujah, go tell your brother his fault between him and he alone praise the lord hallelujah and if you if the brother should hear you then you gain that brother praise the name of jesus but if thy brother don't hear you then you can openly go and tell one or two more person praise the name of jesus hallelujah if we want to make it into the kingdom of god we need to stop hallelujah we need to stop the next formula on how to stop is to close our mouth. It's simple, but it's effective. Proverbs 5, 21, 23 says, Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue, keepeth his soul from trouble, and so let us watch our tongue. Keep your mouth shut, praise God, so we can stay out of trouble. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. What are our words saying about us this morning? That is a question we need to ask each other ourselves praise the lord 
how our words dis defective, destructive or powerful or persuasive? Does it bring evidence that we are changed by the word of Jesus Christ? Whether we text it, we tweet it, or we just saying it, hallelujah. Does our words reflect Christ? Hallelujah. 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 Our words give direction. Our tongue controls the direction of our life. We need to change the way we speak. And it will change the direction of your life. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. If we, can, if, if, if we are filled with words that are empty and worthless, that's the way our life will turn out. Words changes your life. We need to use our tongue to spread love yes. the, and the gospel, praise God. Yes. Take for example, yes. the woman at the well, praise God. Yes. She have an encounter with the, Holy, yes. with the Lord, yes. hallelujah. And she run and she run to spread the good news, yes. praise the name of Jesus, about our encounter with the Lord. Yes. She did not run to say she find a new man or a boopsie, praise God. But she run to spread the good news this morning, yes. hallelujah. Yes. Look at the story about the woman who was caught in the act of adultery and they carry her to Jesus, not realizing that they themselves have sinned. Hallelujah. And Jesus rebuked them by saying, those without sin cast. Praise the name of Jesus. Great people in the Bible, praise God, they have trouble with their tongue too. Praise the name of Jesus. Peter, he used his tongue to deny Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, while brother Job says, I will cover my, I will cover my, I will put my hands upon my lips, praise the name of Jesus, that I don't answer. Hallelujah. Isaiah, when he saw the Lord high and lifted up, he, sa he, he says, I, I dwell among people of unclean lips, and, and I live among people, hallelujah, with unclean lips, hallelujah. Moses in Psalms 106, he said, I spoke rash words, hallelujah, because I was angry. Because the people rebel against the spirit of God. Further studies, you see where God purged their tongue. The Pharisees and the scribes, praise God, they tried many things to trap Jesus, speaking a lot of things, hallelujah. They use their tongue to ask Jesus, whose wife? Will she be if she married seven brothers and bear no children? So each time they speak to Jesus about the news, Jesus turn it back on them, praise God. Jesus call them hypocrites, hallelujah, because they knew the words and they do it not. Hallelujah. Jesus called them white sepulchre. He said you are stink on the inside. These people are supposed to set example, praise God. They should supposed to live, oh God. Do better, praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, one thing I love about Jesus is that he is not afraid to call sin, sin. Hallelujah. He's not afraid to expose sin for what it is, really is. Hallelujah. 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 Stop hiding behind church garment. Hallelujah. This morning. Hallelujah. We need to stop hiding behind our camouflage. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. He says, Hallelujah. If we want to make it in, we have to change our ways. Hallelujah. Stop pretending we are living a godly life when our heart is dirty. Stop playing church and be serious about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Serious about living for God. Hallelujah. Is it that we in praise God or we are out? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thursday morning early when I woke up in the morning to, to, to start write this message. Hallelujah. I tune into Deacon Taylor prayer, praise God. And I heard him say praying and saying, um, praise God. He says, I want to pray. Praise the name of Jesus. In his prayer, he was asking the Lord to help us to set good standard, both spiritually and physically. And he asks us, he, and asks the Lord to, to hallelujah, asks the Lord to help us to maintain and to live a life of example and to put righteousness in the life of his people. Praise the name of Jesus. When we leak our tongue too much, praise God, we will end up leak our own business. 
to the wrong person. And this will cause you to lose out on your own blessing. Sometimes we need to shut our mouth. The Bible said, he that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Praise the name of Jesus. The devil is still working hard to get rid of God's people. Hallelujah. If he can put hurtful words in you to stop you from worshiping the Lord, then he's going to continue to press on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you, hallelujah. So that we cannot praise him. Hallelujah. We have to be careful how we treat others, especially those in the body of Christ. Praise God. We don't want to be a stumbling block in hindering somebody from worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's wear our words, brethren. What we are speaking at times like this. What are we speaking in a time like this? Hallelujah. Are we speaking life? Are we speaking the things the devil putting in us to cause destruction? The Bible says, let your light so shine throughout all man. Praise the name of Jesus. We have to be very careful in our walking, in our talking. The Bible says we are the vine. Praise the name of Jesus. And the vine is supposed to pour nourishment into the tree. And so, where is our fruit? Hallelujah. The tree, if, the tree, if we are a part of this, hallelujah, where is our light? Hallelujah. Our tongue gives the most trouble. But we can ask God to tame it. Only if we surrender to him. And then we can say like brother Paul. I am persuaded. Praise the name of Jesus. That, that God will see us through. Persuade, so persuaded that empty words. Don't mean a thing to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that won't stop you from worshiping the Lord. Persuaded that things will not cut you asunder. Let us use our tongue to do the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pull up our brother or our sister, praise God, and encourage them back to God. Ask the Lord to wash us with Aesop. Hallelujah. To cleanse our hearts. The Bible said, it's not what go down into you. Hallelujah. But it's what come out. Hallelujah. In Proverbs 4 and verse 23, about all else, guard your heart for everything flow. Hallelujah. Out of it, everything flow. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We cannot do this by ourselves. We need to ask the Lord for divine intervention. Delicate our heart, our mind, and our tongue to the Lord daily. Let's ask God for forgiveness. Practice good speaking words. Hallelujah. That will encourage and come and comfort, edify, and inspire. Hallelujah. Then we can say like the psalmist. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be in my mouth. True worship comes, begins from the heart. Hallelujah. Ask the Lord to wash us. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Wash our mouth. Praise God. Wash our tongue. Hallelujah. Wash our thought. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the name of Jesus. Can the, sh the church lift their hands and worship the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. We are still in the work. Hallelujah. Still in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. The songwriter sung this song many years ago. Hallelujah. And it still stands today. He says, how many times? Hallelujah. Must I show you how much I love you? Hallelujah. When you are lost in sin and sorrow, he said, I died to set you free. Just so you will know how much I love you. Hallelujah. So today in closing, let us do this as a challenge. Hallelujah. Every time we stretch out our tongue to brush it. Hallelujah. Let it be a reminder that we should use it to edify someone about the goodness of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, this morning, let us ask the Lord to restore us. Hallelujah. Let him restore you this morning so we, he can level our tongue. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. In, I will leave with you this song. Praise the name of Jesus. Sister Paula, praise the name of Jesus. Make me whole. Make me whole. He restore my soul and make Here is my heart, hallelujah, here's my soul, he restore my soul and me. We all stand and sing this song, hallelujah, make me whole, make me whole.
glory to God, I stand guilty at the podium of God. And glory to God, I pray that he will restore my soul. Because I am as guilty as charge. Oh, the tongue has been used against him many times. The tongue has been used against him, against my brothers, against my sisters. missionary Newell. We glorify God. We pray God continue us blessing upon her. We pray the strength of God upon her. We give God thanks that he has called her for such a time like this. And we pour out upon her blessings with our tongues to thee. And glorify the true and living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all need to whisper a prayer to God today. Oh, glory to God. It's a personal relationship with him today. Asking him to help us to control this tongue and rebuild the temple. The temple of God is the body. He dwells within us. Glory to God. We have a physical temple that we are in praising him today. And the spiritual temple which represents your body, my body. So today we are all going to pray and ask the Lord thy God, oh glory to God, to make us all, make us all. Everyone will pray today, glory to God, glory to God, after which I will hand over to Pastor Brown. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. all pray wherever you are those online I invite you to pray as well glory to God thank you Jesus father we honor you this afternoon and we glorify you God for who you are we thank you that you are the only true and living God we thank you mighty God for your word we thank you that you are able to perfect us as we come before your presence this afternoon guilty as charged I am mighty God this very tongue of mine mighty God I pray God that you take a hold of it I confess my sins before you mighty God I have been involved in gossiping I have been involved in cursing mighty good God this tongue of mine is so fiery good God of heaven but this afternoon I thank you for your word that remind me mighty God to tame this very tongue and to control it and let it mighty God speak positiveness I thank you for your words of encouragement of how we can be tamed mighty God refuse to hear refuse to speak refuse to partake in things mighty God that will cause us to sin again you and so God we pray today that you empty us mighty God from inward sins and carnal weaknesses oh good God and make us all again we pray God almighty that from now on Lord God that which cometh from our mouth this which the tongue will speak will be glory my God glorify you will be blessing unto you will speak Thus said the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, oh God, that you teach us to love, that you teach us to forgive, that we can lay aside, mighty God, the heavy load, the burden, the unforgiveness, 
the envy, the malice, the jealousy, the strive. Good God, we curse the spirit of gossiping from among us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And good God, I thank you that we will stop the leaking today. Stop that leaking in the name of Jesus. I give you thanks, oh God. The leaking, mighty God, with this tongue. We find time to do everything with it except to glorify you. And so, good God, take a life call from the altar and touch the tongue of every one of us and burn out sin and carnal weaknesses in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Like Isaiah, we cry unto you, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Oh, mighty God. Woe is me, mighty God, for I am undone. Mighty God Almighty, I dwell among a people, mighty God, that speaks mighty God evil. I dwell among mighty God sinners. I dwell among them, and I myself, mighty God, am a sinner today. Oh God, and I come before you with a repentance heart. I come before you, mighty God, with a repentance heart. Humble at your feet, mighty God, this afternoon. Oh, glory to God and give you thanks that you burn out every iniquity within me. And Lord God, hear the prayers, mighty God, of your members. Lord, we all know our weaknesses. We all know, mighty God, that what we are short of because we are all weak, mighty God, without you. It is only in you, mighty God, we can be straightened. So, Lord God, those who use the tongue to glorify you, let them continue to do so and to encourage those who use it against you. Mighty God, so they too can use their tongues to glorify you. And together, mighty God, we will all glorify you and tame this very tongue and stop that leaking and rebuilding the broken temple because the, the leaking caused the temple to be broken. The leaking, mighty God, separate us from you. The leaking, mighty God, push us far and further from you. But this afternoon, God, we come. We come, mighty God, with a repentance heart, recognizing our weaknesses. We come to you like the prodigal son who recognized, mighty God, that he's nothing outside of his father's house. My good God, and recognize and come to himself and said to himself, let me go back to my father's house. He was willing, mighty God, to be a servant in his father's house. He said he will say to his fathers, I have sinned against you and I've sinned against God. Oh, and he's not worthy to be called son. Let him be, mighty God, a servant. But mighty God, the moment he made it up in his heart and set forth, mighty God, to go home. Here the father was, mighty God, who saw him from afar. He tells me, God, that you are always looking for us to return unto you. He tells me, mighty God, that you are there waiting patiently, mighty God, for us to turn unto you. He tells me, mighty God, that patiently, earnestly, tenderly, you are waiting for us to turn, to turn away from sin and to come unto you. Oh, God Almighty, to come in fellowship with you. Oh, God, to come back into your house, to be called the children of God, the sons of God, where there'll be great celebration. And so, God, having heard your word this afternoon, we come unto you with a repentance heart. We recognize, mighty God, our weaknesses. And so, God, we come because we know, Lord, you are able to help us. You are able to keep us from falling. I pray, God, that you give us, mighty God, the heart and the desire to read your word, to praise you, God. The things we feed our spirit with, my God, the tongue will manifest it. And so I pray, God Almighty, that we feed our spirit with the things of God. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things that are good and of good report, that is which we will feed our spirits with. So the tongue, mighty God, will speak of it. The tongue will speak of your glory. The tongue will speak goodness. The tongue will bless. Mighty good God Almighty. The tongue will for 
forgiver. And Lord God Almighty, you tell us, mighty God, that our tongue is a weapon. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. So we use the tongue to bind the things that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. And use the tongue to glorify you at all times. Because only you are holy and worthy to be praised. So we thank you this afternoon, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Bless our speaker. Missionary imagine you, almighty God. We thank you for the boldness to stand at this holy podium and to encourage us to tame mighty God the tongue. Glory to God. I pray, mighty God, that you continue to feed her. Feed her with your word. Oh, Lord God, pour out your blessings upon her. Your anointing upon her. And strengthen her, my God. Strengthen her. Oh, God, to do your work physically and spiritually. Oh, good God Almighty. Surround her home, my God. And as she speaks, God, she speaks of you, oh, God. Wherever she goes. Oh, glory to God. Put your mark upon her. So when others, mighty God, see her, they see not her. But the Christ that lives within her. Oh, anoint her feet for battle and her hands for war lift her up mighty God to higher heights and deeper depths in you God and keep her close to you we thank you mighty God and we glorify you for every clergy member mighty God of this holy assembly that Lord God we come together in unity in unity with the tongue and to glorify you Lord we are all working for one place we are not each other's enemies and so Oh God, we come and we call for unity. We call for love. We give you thanks another time for the shepherd that you have given unto us to lead us. Bishop Freighter, wherever he is at this moment, that you are there with him as well. Oh God, and you'll bring him safely unto us. And Lord God, the task to be completed, be completed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We give you glory, mighty God, for his wife, for his household. The musicians represent to you, mighty God. I pray you continue, mighty God, to keep them to walk in obedience with you. And bless their hands as they play unto you, O God. I give you thanks for the singers of this church, mighty God. The praise team, the young people. Another youth thunder with a word to encourage us. We glorify you and we give you thanks. Remember the visitors, mighty God, that you have brought here with us. I pray your blessings in their home. You know why you brought them here here God and I give you thanks for them I pray you continue to strengthen them I pray you dwell with them I pray God that you be a father to them you be a friend to them let them know mighty God that you'll never leave them neither will you forsake them let them know that you are the ever-present constant companion let them know mighty God that it is all in you whatever the needs are whatever the desires are they're all in you God you are able to do exceedingly abundantly than we which we can never imagine or ask of you. And so we give you glory. We give you praise, mighty God. We worship you and we tell you thanks. We thank you for your word today. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. We magnify you. We glorify you. We exalt your name forever. And we have tasted uh, and we have seen uh, the goodness of God uh, in the land of the living. Uh, oh, glory to God. Help us to wait upon you and be of good courage. Uh, we glorify you and give you thanks uh, in your holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated for a moment uh, as I hand over to Pastor Brown. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Let's keep studying everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word today. The Lord has spoken and it's all about the word that we need to take up feast on the word of God. Hallelujah. Use the word to stop the leaking. And what we need to recognize that individuals, you know, we are responsible for the leaking. And so we need to stop the leaking that is coming from ourselves. It's not about so much people saying about us, what we have been saying about ourselves. Hallelujah. We have used 
our own tongue and have killed or are killing ourselves. And so we need to speak life. We need to speak positive things in our situation. Speak the word and you'll be healed. Encourage yourself. Speak all by yourself in the Lord. Come on, somebody. We have heard the word. You know, you know, missionary Graham, she came for and declared the word. And it speaks about repentance, about turning to God. Yeah. You know yourself. I know myself. And so I took all that was mine. Come on, let's take the word. Sanua came and she reinforced it. Come on, people of God. Help us to, let us recognize where we are at. Stop the leaking. Shakoba. Receive the word. Isaiah said, Whoa! It's me. Because I am undone. Because I am a man of what? Unclean lips. I dwell among people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Ask God just to wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord God. Come on, declare. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the lender and not the borrower. Come on, amidst your circumstances. The enemy is showing you everything negative. But God is saying this morning, this afternoon, you're victorious. Come on, you're victorious. Come on, stand everywhere. You're victorious. Come on, speak life. Speak over yourself. Encourage yourself in the Lord as I minister to you. Oh, I minister to myself. Life cannot you so think there's nothing left. The enemy created was but giants. the Lord Jesus. Come on, start to speak. You see, I speak so much debt over your life. So change it around now. Start to speak life. Encourage yourself. Come on, say it. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am the head and not the tail. I'm a winner. Glory, hallelujah. I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Come on, stand away for the benediction. Lord, we thank you again for your words. We thank you for your servants who were obedient in declaring your word. I pray today, God, that we will take your words. Cleanse us from every sin, God, from every idolatry, from every adultery, from every sin of the flesh, God. I pray today, God, that we truly seek to take your word. It's not about the music as you said. It's not about the songs as you said earlier. But it's about the word. And so as the psalmist declare, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. And so today, God, I take up the word. I pick up the word, God. Lord God, lie Nehemiah and those on the wall. God, they had the sword in one hand and the tool for the rebuilding in the other and so God as we rebuild this place for your glory God we take up the word God we have the word in our hand we have the word in our mind God we have the word in our soul we have the 
word in our spirit. We place the word, oh God. We will clear the word. We'll encourage ourselves. We'll encourage our family. We'll encourage our children. We'll speak to them about the situation, God. We thank you for the mighty, mighty revival. We thank you for the breakthrough, God. And for pulling your people back. We thank you for the overflow. We thank you for the blessings. In the holy my prayer. Why are we smiling so hard? Because it's another time for us to gather. Somebody type in the comments, I know his name is wonderful. Everybody right here. Hey, Miranda, this is my testimony. All of my life, I've never known you to fail. You remain the same man. Wonderful is your name.